Let's make pan sear salmon with coconut rice and mango salsa. Let's hit it. Begin by double checking that your salmon has no bones left. I have a fresh one pound center cut salmon fillet. And I'm going to cut it in half so that way we can get two eight ounce cuts. Next, we need to remove the skin. This is as simple as wedging your knife between the skin and meat and slicing it as closely as possible to the skin. Now we're going to make a simple but amazing honey chipotle glaze to marinate our salmon. To do this, combine your honey, chipotle puree, and fresh lime juice, then stir. Once that's done, we're going to brush it on, on the top and the sides of our salmon. You can then sprinkle of some of your favorite dry spice. Here I'm using a smoked chipotle rub. Moving on the stove. Set your pan on a medium high heat and add olive oil. Once it's hot, we'll put our salmon in the pan with the seasoning side down. We want to get it a nice sear on it, which should take around three minutes. Once your filet has the perfect sear, flip it over and turn your heat to the lowest setting to finish cooking the salmon. Somewhere around 125 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. While the salmon finishes cooking, let's start mad watering mango salsa. Dice the bell pepper into a quarter inch pieces. And cut the mangoes into thirds. Using a spoon, scoop out each side of the mango. And dice them into a piece roughly a quarter to a half an inch in size. Next, dice the red onion into a quarter inch piece and start combining all of these ingredients in a large mixing bowl. Cut the limes in half. Chop the cilantro and go for a rough chop, but don't chop it too finely. Mince the jalapeno, this is optional, depending on how spicy you like it. But I didn't add any of the seeds to mine, so it's not super spicy. And last but not least, add some fresh mint. It's going to add some liveliness to our salsa and really bright up those flavors. In a small pot, combine the coconut milk, coconut water, jasmine rice, and salt. Give it a good stir, then cover the pot and bring it to a boil. Once the rice comes to a boil, turn the heat down to a low and let it simmer for 20 minutes before turning it off. Here are the ingredients. In our mango salsa bowl, let's add all of our ingredients. Squeeze in some lime juice, add some salt pepper to taste, and mix. Now, let's plate our salmon. We'll start by making a bed of delicate coconut rice, and then set our beautiful cooked salmon on top of the rice. To finish up, we'll top it off with a spectacular mango salsa, and then garnish it with cilantro spring and lime wedge. And now, Missing one thing. Enjoy. Adios, amigos.